Hey, what is up guys? It is Harrison Barron, The Money Entrepreneur, and thank you guys so much for visiting this video. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you guys three simple things to help make any photo and any video better than it ever has been before. Now, this video is not for professionals, but for anybody that is not a professional, this video is absolutely for you if you're going to be using anything like photos or anything like videos for any social media. This is not LinkedIn specific. You could take this to whatever account or whatever uh, platform you really want to use it for. So right off the bat, I'm not going to waste any of your time. Number one is so simple. Wipe off your screen. So that could be your selfie screen right there, or that could also be your lens right here. Take your shirt or take a clean piece of cloth or a napkin or anything like that that doesn't have anything on it and wipe it down. You should be able to wipe it down to the point where you don't see any residue or anything like that on it. When you do those things, you're immediately going to have a better picture. And the reason why I say this is because I've seen so many people's either images or videos on some platform and the quality is not that great because they didn't take two seconds to clean it, right? You wouldn't eat with a dirty plate. You're not going to take a photo with a dirty camera. It's just that simple, right? When I break out this camera to get ready to shoot, I always make sure it's clean or as clean as I could possibly get it to get the job done. It's the same thing with anything you do. Make sure it's a clean workspace, right? You want better photos, you want better videos, clean your camera. It sounds so simple, but nobody does it. You have to make sure that you make a mental note to take your time and clean your either lens or your whole camera or your screen or whatever you're shooting with. Take the time out. Number two is get good lighting. I don't care what lighting you use, but learn how to use lighting. And really, it's pretty simple. Natural light coming from a window is great. You never want top-down light because you're going to share these bags under your eyes. And nobody likes bags. So do yourself a favor. Get some kind of natural light. For here, I have two studio lights right here. And those two studio lights are casting right on top of me. And the background should be a little bit blurred out. And also, you kind of lose the shadow in there. I'm also pretty close to the camera. So lighting can be tremendously powerful. I have the studio lights in my entire room right now dimmed down pretty well because these are providing all the light that I need and it's providing a nice even light source. If you're going to take a photo, buy a windowsill is a great spot. Use that natural sunlight. Make sure it's not coming from top down, right? Try to light that person either on the side for men or full face for women, right? This is kind of a little studio setup. This is what I like to shoot in. However, that's what the pros recommend. So definitely make sure that there's plenty of light in your photos or videos. This is a huge problem when it comes to mobile devices because they don't have the sensors inside of them to take low light images. So whatever you're going to do, make sure you just try to take good photos with good light and with a clean lens. Number three, and this is going to be the simplest, but probably the longest one, is frame up your image. Now, there is a ton of stuff over there, and there is a ton of stuff over here, and there's even a ton of stuff behind this camera. But I chose to frame up this lens or this image where all you're going to see is the white. When you're taking a photo, you're going to go take a photo, is look at the big picture, and then look at inside your screen and say, hey, what is actually inside my picture, right? Know that you could always crop it, but there's only a certain amount that you can crop. You can't zoom in with a lot of these, and with optical zoom, where you go past the two on some of these newer cameras, it's starting to use optical zoom and you're gonna lose some of that quality. Make sure you frame it up to the best of your ability. Look at what's going on in the shot and take multiple pictures because you never know which shot's gonna be the one that you absolutely fall in love with. But a lot of times people don't understand or don't see the background or see the behind the image, right? I know that you guys can only see a white screen behind me. There's nothing behind there because I'm framing it up correctly. But every once in a while, if you look at some of my videos, you'll see just little things down in those two corners over there where the frame wasn't fully lined up to the way I wanted it to, and I only saw it in post. I didn't want to destroy the quality, so I just either cropped it in or left it. But do yourself a favor. There is a, there's tons of apps on there that could either give you the rule of thirds or a little diagonal across the screen, something like that. But make sure when you're taking that image, you're centered in the picture or right here is a perfect spot, right? I'm in that rule of thirds. My eyes and my head are right in the third line on the lens. Whatever you decide to do, make sure that you just frame it up. There's only so much zoom that you're going to be able to use in post until your, until your image or your video just goes to crap. And that stinks. So don't waste your time. Don't waste your energy. 
take the time, set up a really good image. When you set up a really good image, look at your subject and look what's behind that. Too many people, especially in the car, they're taking a selfie like this and they don't realize that people could see them driving. They're, they're actively breaking the law. Or they look weird because other people are looking in their cars and saying, hey, what's this guy doing with that video? Make sure you take the time to see what's going on in the background because it is so silly when either you get caught doing something weird or your subject isn't isolated from the background. That's why I have a dull screen back there, so I am the subject, right? I have a whole other wall full of cool stuff, but I don't use that wall because I want you to pay attention to me. That's the goal of this video. Make sure your frame or make sure your shot is lined up and know your background. And number four, I'm giving you a little bonus on this one, but make sure that your whatever you're shooting with has battery. I see too many people, they either go to take a photo, or memory for that matter, they go to take a photo, it's full. They go to shoot a video, the battery's dead. Something like that, they don't have enough to get through. Do yourself a favor, always, I mean always, keep your stuff charged. If you think you're going to be taking photos, grab an extra battery, plug it in your phone, and then you'll have battery throughout the day. But do yourself a favor, Always leave with a full battery. That is why I charge my phone all night long and throughout the day. So that way, no matter what I get myself into, I know that I have either the resources to take that photo and the storage to take that photo, or if I'm bringing this camera, I always take an extra couple batteries and I always take an extra SD card. So that way, just in case I fill it up, I know that it's here for me. For example, I'm going away on vacation soon. When that happens, I'm gonna make sure I bring an extra battery and an extra SD card so that way, God forbid I fill it up, at least I have more room to take more photos and videos. So those are my three plus one bonus step. I hope this was valuable. If you haven't already, destroy that like button if you found value in this, and do me a favor and do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe, turn on the little bell so that way you never miss a video coming up. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. I hope these tips help, and do me a favor, when you use these tips, go back and leave a comment below, or if you already knew one of these, leave a comment below and let me know which ones you found valuable and which ones you didn't. I'll see you guys later.